change up would be the waveform since this is the basis of all the synthesizers in oscillator A. Today I'm going to use, I'm going to be making a pad, so I'm going to start off with me some strings. And this is what it sounds like with no changes. Next thing that I change is usually the motion. Motion is how fast or how slow the wave is going, so when it's slow it sounds kind of like this. When it's fast it sounds kind of like this. Alright, so I'm going to find me a nice happy thing. I'm going to make it slower. I don't want it as fast as it was. So I'm going to make it slower, maybe negative 15. Alright, next thing I do, let me change it a little bit down more. is pretty much the characteristic and how much gain a certain characteristic gets. Here's the difference. Subtle, but it still is meaningful, so I'm going to put it up like this much. Alright, right now it's kind of hollowed out and everything. How do I give it some life? Well, we have the envelopes over here. What I do is, is I put down a little bit of the decay and sustain add a little release which gives it some reverb, put it pretty high, add some attack and see how this sounds. Add some more delay, decay. Like that. I want to shift this synthesizer to give it a little bit more of a flare to it make it mine kind of thing. So we'll see. There we go. That gives it a nice little castly sound. Alright then. Next thing I do is is first I do everything that I want to do to oscillator A. So if I wanted to add modulation, I would do it before adding oscillator B. But there's no set rules. So first I thing I do is I turn that on, set it to modulator a, I mean oscillator A, and change the waveform. Type of waveform that I like. I like the one that slowly rises. To Next, I set where do I want the oscillator? To, how where do I want the oscillator to go? To the index, to the shift, to the pitch. I might see what it sounds like on the index. Set the sync up so it syncs to the beat and put it on one fourth every four quarter note. That's what it sounds like now with the new modulator on it to the index. Let's see what it sounds like. next thing I do is I turn this on which makes this oscillator A go to the shaper. The shaper is kind of like a distortion unit. Let me turn that on first. And my favorite type is the quaint. It's a kind of spacey kind of feel. Turn it down a little bit so it doesn't overpower it. Turn down some of the release so it doesn't go on for so long. last part is filter A. First I pick what I want, a negative comb. This chooses the And right now I am tuning to liking. The resonance is how far up it enhances the frequency this gain wherever I put it. I mess with the filter envelope because this can drastically change the sound if used correctly. 
it can also be inverted so instead of it moving up it can go down and do instead of it adding gain it can reduce it mm, I like it better without a lot of filter envelope but I might make it open up slowly with a high attack yeah, I like that that sounds very spacey space agey <laughs> 